So if you're new around here, we're Andy, Helen and our camper van Giovanna. Inspired by our love of travel, we make videos as we explore the world, experiencing new countries and cultures. So why not join us on our van life adventures? Good morning um, and welcome back. We're on our way to see uh, Mont Saint Michel. Uh, we've come up about, uh, probably about an hour from Dinan and uh, found ourselves a nice little camping car park space after going to the municipal one, which was awful. Don't, don't go, you're packed in like sardines. And it stinks. And it's so expensive, 27 euros for one night. A car park, basically. Yeah. Whereas the camping car park place for one is 16.50. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to walk along the riverbank and over the causeway to Mont Saint Michel and go and have a look at the, is it the basilica there. Oh, the yeah, abbey. The abbey. The abbey. Yeah, it's supposed to be one of the great wonders of the world. So we thought we we're coming past. Let's go and have a look. We've already bought our tickets. Yeah, oh, hello. Oh. Mind that. Yeah, so we've got our tickets online. Yeah, quick tip. Um, yeah, there's slots, so you have to buy your tickets online. Yeah. Um, morning or afternoon, so I'll just search that before. Don't just turn up. Yeah, don't just turn up. It's a very busy place. And uh, it's going to take us about an hour walking along this riverside to get to uh, the island. But I uh, hope you enjoy this video, guys. Look at this. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see this in the distance. This is our first view of the island and the abbey itself. And it's almost soul destroying, realising how far we've got to walk. <laughs> but on a positive note, then, yes. I've seen my perfect house. Oh, have you always that? Oh, that, yes. That one. In the middle of nowhere. No neighbours. No neighbours, yep. It's very busy here. A lot busier than I expected it to be. Look at these people. Even all the way out on the causeway. It's only a little island. There's also shuttle buses as well that are taking people. This is a pretty impressive bus. It's got a front and a back. And as you walk on the other side, you'll see that it's got a back at the front. So it doesn't have to turn around. And it's free. And it's free. So why are we walking if the bus is free? <laughs> because oh. we had lots of beer last night, we got to walk it off. <laughs> Ignoring the main entrance to the island, we walked west a little way past the Port du Boulevard and entered via the Avances de Fanels, and excuse my pronunciation there, but it gives you a more peaceful walk and a less crowded walk up to the abbey. The Fanals path is wide, not very busy, and it winds around the island through ancient lanes and streets, climbing to the magnificent Benedictine Abbey, giving breathtaking views over the village rooftops and the Mont Saint Michel Bay. This is where we should have got um, some drinks. Yeah, yeah, we should have got one. Yeah. Oh, it's Steps. This way. <laughs> so, yeah, we just got in there, we fucked up. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. You've done it. Don't touch it.
The West Terrace at Mont Saint Michel Abbey offers breathtaking views of the island's picturesque surroundings. Here you can admire the breathtaking panorama where the horizon blends harmoniously with the vast stretches of sand and the ever changing tides and the bay's natural beauty. I can't say it very quietly. I've got to say this. This has got to be <laughs> the most drab, uninteresting abbey I've ever been to. Anticlimactical. Is that the right word? Anticlimactical. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It looks, so, looks fantastic from the outside. Yeah. When you come inside, and so, the, 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 the smallest churches that we've been into in France are more impressive than this. Yeah. Fortunately, our first impressions were wrong, very wrong, and this was just the beginning of this magnificent abbey complex. So we continued our tour into the heart of Mont Saint-Michel, climbing down deeper and deeper into its hidden depths. Soon we entered the Merville complex of buildings, the stunning Knights Hall, the refectory, and the breathtakingly beautiful cloisters. The Merville of Mont Saint-Michel Abbey is a fascinating structure that inspires wonder, hence its name. Hung on the side of the island, the complex consists of two main buildings, the Knights Hall and the refectory, as well as the adjoining cloister. These remarkable Gothic buildings bear witness to medieval builders' architectural ingenuity and expertise. The sculpted details, elegant arches and majestic vaults create a grandiose and mystical atmosphere. Once inside, you'll discover impressive rooms, finely chiselled columns and breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding area. Found some more spiral stairs. Okay. Oh,
this is the winching mechanism um, that either animals or people have been inside with a turn the spindle and rope. Going outside the opening you can see in the wall, um, raising and lowering the carts at the side of the hill. I'm waiting for the day you fall down one of these. But it's going to roll down like a ball. Game of Thank you very much, Actually, that didn't turn out too bad, did it? Considering the start, we weren't impressed, were we? We weren't impressed with the actual abbey itself, yeah. but the halls, the extra chapels, the gardens. Incredible, weren't they? Views. Yeah. And everything else. Are you enjoying this bit? No, I am not. Too many people. Yeah. Just to give you an idea how expensive it is to have a drink. This is a beer, 33 CL, so like a little can of Coke, and nine euros. That's just nuts. Easy tourist prices, that is. I think despite our moaning, <laughs> it actually still was a really good visit. It was actually. Yeah, we yeah. just don't like people, do we? <laughs> no. 
Not, we like not people, but only in small doses. Yeah, we like people. We, we like them to be at least a good 100 metres away from us. Yeah, it was uh, very busy. Yeah. Very, um, As you can see now, it's still exceedingly busy. Everyone's walking back to get their buses or cars or coaches. We've got to walk all right this estuary, right to those trees in the far distance, and we're parked in an air just over there. So it's a final look back at uh, Mont Saint Michel. Just wonderful, incredible place. Sunset, walk down to the river. How have you enjoyed it here? It's looking lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's only a short video this week, guys, because uh, we've got a lot happening next week. And we thought we'd just get a quick little video in. Because for us, this has been a dream. See, ever since we started van life, this has been one of our dreams to come here. And why was that? Because you came here? Oh, your son came here. Tom. Yeah, yeah. Tom came and he bought us a little snow globe back <laughs> snow globe. <laughs> with them um, snow globe with them um, lots of Michael in. Yeah, so we always said, right, as soon as we get out of there, <laughs> we're going to uh, we're going to come to Mont Saint Michel. Oh, sorry, that's all right. That's all right. It's just how you think. You're getting old, but honestly, really enjoy. It. I know we moaned a little bit at the beginning because the, the Abbey. We had uh, bigger expectations of the Abbey, but. Mm as an island and everything else that had to offer, it was really, 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 it was really good. It was entertaining there. It was, you know, great things to see. It was just nice, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, anyway guys, we'll end this video now and uh, hopefully see you in our uh, next one, well, our next video next week. Have a good week, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel grow.